What's going on guys, Chase on Two Wheels here, and in front of us there is a 2022 Triumph Speed Triple RS. They let us loan this thing and we are testing it out today in the city. I don't know how this is going to go today because this is a very aggressive machine, but we're testing it for the city riding for you guys. So stick around and let's see how a Speed Triple RS handles the city. And welcome to Atlanta, my friends. So let's shift this girl down and take our big right-hander. All right, guys, we have found ourselves in the city. Um, and just as a heads up, we have a very brisk day today. I am layered up the wazoo, uh, trying to stay as uh, warm as I possibly can. It's a little chilly for Atlanta today, so... I'm going to try to not let that affect what I think about the motorcycle as far as like maneuvering. I'm not going to judge a motorcycle's maneuvering off my ability to maneuver. But we are in the city today to see how the Speed Triple RS can handle, you know, riding that's not that it's not made for. We've done a good bit of testing on this motorcycle already and I highly recommend if you guys are interested We've got a highway uh, commuter test. We've got a kind of hard riding mountain test. We've got other tests for this motorcycle and so far it's performed really well. From what I've noticed, Triumph has made super sport ability into a naked platform. So I'm honestly not sure how today is gonna go. I'm gonna be judging how this motorcycle does in a city environment today. Stuff we're gonna be looking for is like how it performs going slow and the slow monotonous type of riding that a lot of us end up having to do just because you know, if, you, if you're commuting, you're gonna commute to a city probably. And if you're gonna run errands, you're gonna have to run errands in, a, in an environment similar to this. So I always feel like these are really important tests because you know, I, I would love to only ride in the mountains right <laughs> but that's not realistic that's not what ends up happening we buy these motorcycles and we ride them all over the place bikes that are more sport oriented like the speed triple rs here typically they don't perform as well in the city so we'll have to you go <laughs> okay so the brakes work so guys uh as you saw uh abs is working phenomenal i i pushed the abs enough for the rear to lock up there the abs was honestly wow look at this idiot we're the day after thanksgiving maybe all these people are like turkey drunk or something so guys uh abs back there worked out really well it's a cold day my tires are cold i'm in a minimal traction type of day so that example back there was something that was very important and I'm glad it happened on camera. Not, I'm not glad it happened, but like if it's going to happen, I'm glad it was on camera. That ABS did such a phenomenal job of keeping me in control of that braking. Now, obviously I'm an experienced rider. I didn't just hammer on the brakes. I slowly gave it on. That's one thing the Speed Trouble does really well though, is the brakes are really strong, like track riding aggressive. They instantly bite, but that's okay because the ABS did a phenomenal job. Moving on to the fun seat. Oh my god. That hard seat's not going to do good. So guys, this is the part of a road I always like to ride in the bad spots of to test the suspension. And um, Jesus Christ. So here's the thing. And I knew it would be like this, but you know just because you know it doesn't mean it's going to make it any better the speed triple has a full olin suspension fully customizable uh, it's not electronic but you can uh customize as much as you want we have the suspension set up for harder riding because i feel like that's what this bike is made for but something that that is going to translate to in the city because the majority of the time city riding is going to have really crappy roads you are going to feel every single bump and something i didn't expect was the harder seat 
mixed with uh, the crappy roads. Like the sea just like hits against you constantly. Whereas if the sea was a little softer, I feel like the bumps wouldn't be so bad. I will say that's a trade-off because the seat being a little harder makes it great for you know, moving back and forth in the seat if you're doing more aggressive riding and, you know, shifting your body weight around. But this is an area where it just, it's not happy. Or no, the bike's fine. You as a rider are not happy at all. One of the things I am appreciating about the Speed Triple, it is a bigger motorcycle, but in the city, I maneuverability is something I have to have. You know, there's going to be giant potholes all over the place. And I feel like the Speed Triple is doing a really good job of handling its weight well. The Speed Triple is a heavier bike, but it has a shorter wheelbase. And that allows me to maneuver the bike around in my lane more. So if there's any random sh on the road, which a lot of the times there is, having a maneuverable motorcycle really helps with that. And I can tell this short wheelbase is doing a phenomenal job of... You know, having a heavier, more powerful motorcycle, but keeping it agile so I can at a glance, you know, if there's something in the road, just boom, get around it, no problem. I'm loving that for city riding as far as, you know, stuff I have to dodge. I gotta say though, the, the transmission on this thing, as long as you're moving, it's amazing. I love it. I love the quick shifter up and down, but this it, it, you cannot get around it anybody that's ridden this thing will know what i'm about to say this transmission sucks at getting into neutral it is so bad that and and i i think i've said in the videos before i'm loving the speed triple i absolutely adore this motorcycle i feel like it's an amazing balance of power with a naked platform it gives me my feeling of being on a super sport but it gives my body the feeling of being on a naked but this getting into neutral is so bad that it would almost deter me from getting this motorcycle personally like that's how bad getting into neutral is i'm not trying to harp on it but you just you guys need to know if you ride in this situation like in the city riding it is going to be frustrating 100 percent just be ready for that. So as far as power modes, guys, we are in road mode uh, today on these streets. And so far, I'm pretty happy with the power delivery on the motorcycle. We all know the bike's got plenty of power, but where does it have that power at is a very big deal. That's one of the things about a triple is like a twin, you get a lot of power down low and in line four, you get power up high. The triple is supposed to give you power in the middle area. I feel like the power delivery, even with having this much power in a bike, is still phenomenal. You guys can see we're kind of just chilling in traffic in second gear with no problem. At the drop of a hat, if I needed to accelerate out of somewhere, it still feeds that power in not too strong to make it hard to ride, but strong enough to really get me where you know I need to go because traffic Traffic's going to change the entire time we're riding. I need power to get me around, but I don't want too much because that could get me in a in a tricky situation if it was too bitey. I feel like the Speed Triple has a, a phenomenal mode set up to where you can really choose how much power you want. So you could go down to rain mode if you wanted to, if you wanted a little less power and tapered on a little more. But I find uh, I'm having no problems in road mode right now. This is one of the situations where I love having this body style as a city bike because my legs are already prepped up to easily go to the ground on all of this start and stopping what's going on sir on a scooter love the pants in the city you're going to be starting stopping all the time and having a super sport you're all you know leaned over and you're slightly leaned over on the speed triple here but as soon as i stop my legs can just pop to the ground makes it super simple to you know go from a start to a stop and back again i'm digging that and that's even with the speed triple being slightly leaned forward a little bit like my upper half clutch is feeling really good too uh on all the starting to stop and we got the quick shift to shift up through gears we don't have to use the clutch but when i do have to use the clutch at a red light very smooth release i mean it shakes a lot still you guys that saw the other videos know what i'm talking about for some reason the clutch on this bike uh, it just shakes like look at that and that's just how it is i guess i'm not not really sure to be honest something else i'm really liking is where my legs are positioned on this bike i'll be like passing a car 
and I'll randomly see a pothole that I don't have time to avoid so I just got to go through the pothole knowing how hard that suspension is I know it's gonna like rack me if I don't sit up off the bike but with my where my legs are positioned I can very easily get my weight up off of the motorcycle so that we're like right here I'm, I can just easily like raise my my butt up so I'm not even in the seat and if my legs were in a slightly more aggressive position I don't think I would be able to do that so really liking the leg position and that also goes to that starting and stopping and having to put my leg down so leg position is actually really really good position for for the type of riding we're in I was kind of worried about it you know I, I was worried about having such an aggressive styled motorcycle in the city but so far it's not bad it's not as bad as I kind of I, I was expecting it to be now guys earlier we were talking about the clutch and how smooth it is then those are facts but one thing that I am noticing with the clutch and we kind of lucked out today the traffic's not that bad it's the day after Thanksgiving so I imagine I was kind of expecting there to be a lot of traffic but there doesn't seem to be something I notice is the clutch is a little heavy and what I mean by that is the amount of pressure it takes to pull it in and out now like I said luckily we don't have to deal with a lot of traffic today so there's not too much clutch work going on but if it was a regular day I think my fingers would get pretty tired uh, just being in a riding situation like this it feels really I, I love the way the clutch feels when you're doing like serious riding in areas down here it's uh it might tire you out as far as the engine braking goes in these downtown situations the engine braking seems to be really light you know if you let it go I'm not flying forward so you're gonna keep a uh, keep that motion going i don't know if that's a positive or negative kind of a rider dependent type situation if you like a lot of engine braking you're not really going to have a lot at these lower speeds you know as far as the power delivery with just barely going the bike does have a little bit of on and off feel so you're gonna slightly feel the bike either going or stopping it's you've got to be really delicate with that throttle to not get that on off feel but as long as you're just maintaining it's not that bad it's only noticeable when you know you got somebody in front of you that their speed is kind of not consistent and you got to give it a little gas and let off in situations like that i think you guys are going to feel how that throttle has an on off on offness going on another thing to note while the bike is agile for its weight I will say while riding this around especially in situations like this you are gonna feel the weight of the motorcycle you know I, we've got a MT-09 SP in the shop at the same time right now going from riding the MT-09 SP to this it is a heavier bike to ride very agile feels very good and I honestly think this bike feels more planted in turns than the MT-09 SP does and that weight could you know be causing that there is just a stark difference in how the bikes feel just rolling them around something else i've noticed with the speed triple more than any bike i've uh we've gotten loaned recently the speed triple is an eye magnet i've had so many people like whenever i'm stopped i don't know what it is about this bike but people always want to come up and talk with you I've had so many people come up and just talk motorcycle and be like, hey man, love your motorcycle, which I get because I love the way this bike looks, but <laughs> uh, based on y'all's opinions, there seems to be a, a kind of split. Some of you guys love the way the bike looks, some of you hate it. Regardless of what you like or don't like, a lot of people seem to notice this thing. So uh, one, that's cool. It always makes you feel good about a motorcycle when people are, are you know, coming up and complimenting you on it. Makes you feel like you made a good purchase but the more important part of that the bike catches people's eyes and this is a blacked out motorcycle so you know that's pretty cool and the fact that it catches people's eyes means that it's going to catch their eyes while they're driving a car hopefully that means people will not pull out on your run into you as much well shoot that's less than ideal well huh we are going to have to figure out how to get around this train goes far down that way who knows how far that way all right 
Well, all right, does this get us around the train? It does, sweet. Little kink in the plan, no problem at all for the old speed triple. So guys, uh, in summary, I think that you know, I came into this video thinking the Speed Triple was not going to perform well in the city because of how sporty it was. I was right on a couple things. You know, the, the transmission's neutral getting into thing, that's terrible and very annoying. If, if I'm going to be honest, I'm, I think I'm petty enough to say that I wouldn't want this motorcycle for city riding if that's what you do a lot of just because of the transmission issue if you guys you know all the time you guys are more knowledgeable knowledgeable than i am so in the comments if you know if there's a way to fix that neutral thing please drop us some info down there and you guys go check the comments out to see if anybody's you know helped us out with that because if you could fix that honestly everything else about this bike it has done a phenomenal job in the city don't think the power is too hard it, it's a little weighty you know i can look past little stuff like that if you guys are interested in some more speed triple content we've got a lot of it there'll be a playlist link in the description for all the videos we make on the speed triple we've had it for quite a while and we're going to be doing the one month review up here soon so if you guys want to see more videos about the speed triple uh, you guys can check it out there if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button i'm chase on two wheels and we'll see you on the next one later all right outro crew thank you guys for getting to the end of the video make sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comments with a oc in your comment what did you guys think about the speed triple in the city i thought it was going to be absolutely god awful but that wasn't too bad of a showing for a super athletic motorcycle very interested very much like we'll see you guys in the next one <gasps> later